This program is paid for by Innovative Medical Associates. All opinions or statements expressed on the program are solely those of Innovative Medical Associates or their guests and do not reflect the opinions of WPHT or Odyssey. Talk Radio 1210 WPHT, WPHT HD, WOGL HD3, Philadelphia. Now, Health Watch. Featuring Dr. Molly Fantasia, the PhD doctor and founder of Innovative Medical Associates, with valuable information that could help you improve your quality of life. Now, Health Watch. Good morning and welcome to another edition of Health Watch every Sunday, 8 till 9, right here on Talk Radio 1210 WPHT. As the man just said, Dr. Molly Fantasia is here, the PhD doctor, the executive director, and the founder of Innovative Medical Associates located in Marlton, New Jersey. And I'm your host, John DeMassey. We are here and ready to talk to you and ready to get you healthy <laughs> as we do every Sunday here on the program. 855-839-1210 is the number here in the studio. If you have a question for Dr. Molly or you have a medical challenge that you want to run by her, feel free to pick up the phone and call 855 855- 839-1210. And despite the weather, Dr. Molly, it's a good day to get out. Oh, healthy, it right? is. It is, John. I want everybody to drive carefully out there, though, if you're running around yeah, in your we're, car. We're, uh, we're going to get hit, supposedly, yeah, with the three hope. inches or more rain. Uh, so. Here we go. <laughs> Listen, that's in God's hands, yes. John. Amen. <laughs> that's right. Tell us, Innovative Medical Associates is sort of unique in, in a lot of ways, and in fact, in every way. But you tell us, in your own sure, words, sure. what it's all about. Well, well, you know, we're a group of like-minded providers that are in a cooperative, and they all work out of our prim- my primary care facility out of uh, Marlton, New Jersey. And um, we can do anything that any other primary or general practitioner can do. Um, so if you need blood pressure meds, we're going to give it to you. If you need cholesterol meds, we can give that to you. We can send you out for a laboratory. We can send you out for radiology. But the focus of what we do actually is utilizing natural substances to help reduce some of your need for conventional pharmaceuticals, thereby reducing the side effects of these pharmaceuticals and also help you improve your quality of life regardless of uh, where you are in your own continuum of care and challenge. So um, we do it also in a very unique way, John. That's really a fundamental difference. We believe in hydration therapy as the vehicle to really deliver these nutraceuticals. So we're able to get a patient to a therapeutic level of the particular constituent in the nutraceutical that will actually effectuate the change for the patient. And, you know, it seems to me that in some cases you have a difficult job in explaining (laughs) to people that this can work. Oh, it's, it's, it's a very difficult can, job can because you... most people have failed in going and getting these nutraceuticals. Right. And part of the problem, there, it, it's actually multifaceted, the problem. You, you can't ingest many times enough of the nutraceuticals constituent that actually delivers the properties to effectuate the change. And also in do, or taking them orally, Uh, Many times people have the digestive issues, and then there's a secondary problem because there's a lot of junk on the market. So believe me, believe me, when you go into the health food store, you're at the mercy of the store uh, person, whether they're highly educated or not. Um, And so many of the good brands that we knew in the past, you know, I've been in this, what, 27 years. Can you believe this, John? I can't even believe it. (laughs) I can't either. We have seen the changes in nutraceuticals or the natural substances over time being bought out by larger companies and therefore changing some of the recipes. So some of the things we used orally in the past, we're not using now. So people take these uh, products that they buy in the health food store and they take it a little bit and it doesn't work. Doesn't so work. They, that, that, or actually, it does harm. How yeah, about yeah. how about the people who come in and say, "Oh, not only am I sick in the stomach, I got a rash." I got. I said, "Well, show me what you what you brought." And believe me, when I tell people to bring in what they brought, they bring in bagfuls. <laughs> yes. Right? We have some yes. fun with we, that. We see that. Right. We've seen that many times. So, so the bottom line is that you really have to do nutritional medicine, functional medicine, in a proper manner to really effectuate the change. And the best way that I know is through hydration therapy. 
And hydration therapy works because... Direct hit. Direct hit. It's going directly into your body. It's bypassing the digestive tract. We can focus. We can actually become multifocused. In other words, if we're looking to effectuate the change in the blood pressure, there are certain nutraceuticals that we are able to deliver IV that actually affect the blood pressure. This is why I tell people we are not a spa. We have done extensive research in our protocols to look at what constituents in certain nutraceuticals, whether they are vitamins, minerals, amino acids, or homeopathic uh, type, type products, we look at the constituents in these products, we look at how the product's made, and we then look at having them compounded for our facility. So the hydration then works. Absolutely. Absolutely. And, and it in, works. In most kids. Now look, you know, we're going to have variations. People say, oh, well, you know, I only had a 10% improvement. Oh, well, I only had, uh, oh, oh, I heard, read that chelation therapy, which is how I cut my teeth on the amino acids, yes. right? Right. Only really improves blood flow 12% in, in terms of the total body. I said, have you ever thought about that in body surface? We've seen people go from four, five, six hundred uh, to down in the normal range, right? Yes. Right. Yeah, many so, times. Yeah, many, many times. And even then, we have seen people not only be able to cut their lipid medication, but actually get off sometimes. But the, the results are going to vary depending on what else we counsel the patient to do and if they do it. And people shouldn't expect miracles. I mean, uh, that's you know, the I line. said this is in Holy Water, right. John. I don't think I can repeat that enough. But I will tell you that we get good results, and in most cases, we see improvement in quality of life as well as sometimes reduction in their pharmaceutical agents. Now, how many treatments? <laughs> would it, and this is a well, tough question. It is. So. It is. And, in order to see results. Well, here's the start. thing. It depends on what you're coming in for. Today, we're going to discuss a couple of issues that are long-term issues. So in that case, it may take 15 weeks. It may take a little more. In some cases, it takes as short as five weeks. So it really depends. And it also depends on how committed the patient is to lifestyle changes too, which you and I both know are necessary. And and listen, you and I are seasoned people, right? Yes. So we know <laughs> yes. that, you know, maybe what worked for us in five treatments when we were 40, yes. right? Right? Yeah. Doesn't work Doesn't now. Work now All right, right. Okay. So, so it, you can expect... That you would get results here some, some, some as opposed results. to just health food store Absolutely, stuff. and you know that's absolutely true, and I, I welcome anyone to talk to my patients. By the way, in addition to that, of course, we're running some clinical testing, and we see the results in black and white for certain issues. But i got to tell you, John, the real key is the quality of life for our patients. Have it, it has it improved? And I would say in 97% or better even, 97% because I've been keeping a statistical analysis, they tell me they have improvement. And I'm one of those. And, I'm and one of thank those. God. Thank God. And look, you know, the other thing, John, is how many times do people come to us with not just one challenge? Yes. We have four or five. Well, which one are we going to deal with, Dr. <laughs> Molly? Well, I don't know. I asked Dr. Pat the other day, which one are we going to deal with? Well, all of them. So, yeah. you know, this is the bottom line. Yeah. And, and so you can expect at least to start five Correct. to ten treatments. Correct. And and that would be a, a start, let's right. say. Right, a start. Exactly okay. right. Okay. We are coming up on our first break of the morning. The show is Health Watch. It is here every Sunday, 8 until 9, here on Talk Radio 1210 WPHD. And as always, our number here in the studio, 855-839-1210. That's 855-839-1210. You know what we tell you at this point of the show, if you call now, we guarantee you'll get in, and we'll talk to you, and we'll try to help you with your problem. 855-839-1210 is the number. It's Health Watch every Sunday, 8 till 9, here on Talk Radio 1210 WPHT. With Dr. Molly Fantasia, I'm your host, John DeMassey. We both return after these words. We are back here on Health Watch, and as always, operators are standing by at Innovative Medical Associates, and the number... 856-489-0505. I'll give that to you again. 
489-0505. Call the operators and schedule that initial consultation with Dr. Molly. It is complimentary. All you have to do is pick up the phone and call that number, 856 856- Four eight nine zero five zero five. That's the number, and of course the website. You get a lot of good information on that. InnovativeMedicalAssociates.com. InnovativeMedicalAssociates.com is the website. It is Health Watch every Sunday eight till nine here. The live version on Talk Radio twelve ten WPHT. We're going to go to the phones right now and talk to Kenny and Ben Salem. Kenny, good morning. Hi, Welcome Kenny. to the show. S I T T E L on Google. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> He's an old friend of this show, yeah, yes, obviously, he is. poor guy. Yes, he is. We are, uh, we're going to talk about, uh, I mean, this is a really a problem, Dr. Molly, uh, Lyme disease and opposed to, you know, just having it, right. but then chronic Lyme. So it's, it's two different things, so, right? Well, actually, it's three different yeah. things, if you really think about it, John. One of the reasons why I'm, I'm talking about this again today, and I've spoken about Lyme in the past, is that I've seen an uptick in this in, in our facility. And as you know, since you're there twice a week, you see the change in the patient population. And Lyme disease seems to hit people from uh, teenage children, teenage children, children, adults, and even uh, some older folks like us. And I am fascinated by the myriad of challenges that that you face. So one of the things I want to say is, why is Lyme disease um, so difficult to treat, the initial infection? Well, one of the things is that we have in a complete diet, incomplete diagnosis sometimes, which, in other words, because the Lyme disease itself, maybe you didn't find the tick, that kind of thing. And we have inaccurate and incomplete uh, diagnosis, so it becomes overlooked, all right? So now you've got the problem of not being treated from the beginning. Then we find that even afterwards, when you come in with some of the symptoms that we see in this post-Lyme, um, you have incomplete not enough detailed clinical laboratory testing. So what happens is the potential options to ex- to really address the underlying problem has diminished. In other words, we've missed the Lyme. We don't realize that the symptomatology really is related to a Lyme exposure. And now we're looking at all these other things. And the last thing that we do do conventionally is we forget that this Lyme tick itself, once it's gone, it puts in these viruses, this bacteria, some other, all the junk that the venom from the Lyme bite itself can become multi-drug resistant resistant. Now, how do I know all this? Because I'm treating patients that have had many of these particular challenges that cause their particular problem to become much worse. Do you ever um, cure it? And it sounds like it, it, it doesn't. It doesn't get cured. Well, if we're talking about post Lyme, we can. When we say post Lyme, what we're talking about is having the symptoms of the pain, the joint pain, the muscle fatigue, uh, the regular fatigue, those kinds of things. We can tend to help in that regard. But when we go into chronic Lyme, which is there's a nuanced difference there, chronic versus post-Lyme. That's what I want to talk about today. Okay, we'll, we'll pick that up in a moment. But right now we're going to go to the phones. John and Marlton. John, good oh, morning. John. Welcome to Health Watch. Hey, John. How are you doing, Dr. Allen, John? I'm, I'm good. How I'm good. How are you doing? Good. I'm, I'm doing better, really. Thank God. Uh, what I'm Thank calling God. in today, what I'm calling in today is just a comment on on the progression of what I've seen in five years. And I come every week, you know that. I do know that. You guys, you guys are so thorough, and 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 you you question every patient. The nurses question every. How are you doing? What's going? On? You tell the nurse something's wrong. Next thing you know, bang, you're in front of the chair. What's going on? <laughs> Thank you. you. You come up with nutraceuticals that I had a little problem a couple of weeks ago that you took care of, like immediately. I mean, the next week it was gone. So I mean, thank, I, thank I, just, I just think what you guys, and I hear the patients talking in there, how they felt when they didn't, when they weren't there or when they don't come, and how much better they feel when they continue to come and get your formulas that you've developed over 
what, 26 years in business? Yeah, John. Most yeah. people don't even know how to do it. They don't know how to make these formulas. I, I just wanted to say I think what you guys do is just remarkable. Thank it, you, John. Just, Thank you. And Thank I mean you, that. You're and, welcome. Well, That's John's very young. Say. Okay. Yeah. Hey, yeah. John, yeah. you know, you're yeah. one of my younger patients. So, you know, <laughs> most people can't deal with it. You know what I mean? Let Come me, on. Me, I was at the dinner with my family. It was eight of us. We went out yeah. to dinner last night. God I walked into you. a place, and you saying that, and there's a, a hostess there that I've known for 10 years. God bless you. And that's what she said to me. She said, John, she says, I know you for 10 years. You don't change. You're the same every day. <laughs> God bless you. God I bless you, John. I Dr. Molly. <laughs> oh, you're too good to me. And God bless you. You know, that's always in God's hands. And that's, I believe it with yeah, all my yeah, heart. And I John, you're one too. of the finest guys we, we treat as smart, smart guy. Many, many smart. You know, uh, listen, John, you were a barber. So you know what they say. Barbers are little doctors. Back in yeah. the day, you guys did all <laughs> yeah, the doctoring. Guys- they Thank all you. cut in on it. So sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yes, they did. You God, take care. God, God bless, God bless you. Of you. God bless Thank you. you. Thank you, John. That's, Thanks for the call. He's a great call. guy. He's a yeah. great guy. Yeah. So, so, so let's get back to the lime and, and the lime. So what I wanted to do is talk about the difference between post lime, which is generally six months, maybe to a year after the lime, where you have the various types of challenges. Again, the joint pain, some muscle fatigue, uh, regular, your malaise, headaches, these kinds of things. But if you get in quick enough, we can help uh, reduce some of that. But when we talk about chronic, we're talking about long hours, chronic. It's a longer period of time. It's always there. It's always there. It's chronic. And what are we looking at then? We're looking at the inflammation that the Lyme has caused the body to have over a long period of time. Now, do you think this inflammation is good, John? As I said, there's good and bad inflammation, but post Lyme and chronic Lyme is not a good inflammation, right? So chronic Lyme is like a year yeah, or years, more afterwards. And right, right. And post Lyme is longer. six months. Longer. Okay. No, no. Other, the other way around. Oh, the other way around. It, it, so post Lyme happens after you cured or got rid of the Lyme disease itself, maybe through any biotic therapy, which has happened, and maybe you've gotten put on 21 days of antibiotic, which, by the way, is standard of care, 14, 21 days, depending on how bad the bite is and all of those. But if it goes longer than that, then you have chronic Lyme complex, and therein lies the difference. And chronic Lyme converts can have very dehabilitating uh, joint pain, intermittent med- medical. We can even have seizures, seizures by the tick-borne infections that haven't been resolved with the antibiotic therapy. Listen to that. It's very scary. Um, so patients start struggling with their symptoms despite receiving standard of care treatment. And again, I go back to the clinical symptoms. I go back to the clinical testing and all of those things. So what happens then is a patient then actually has impairment. And it's a very serious thing because the Lyme disease itself wasn't treated holistically. You see the difference? So post-Lyme, you can tr- still treat it holistically. Yes, you give them the antibiotic, but you're also doing things like vitamin C and anti-inflammatories. But chronic Lyme happens way afterwards. And now you come in and you don't know what's wrong with you. This is a very, very difficult challenge for you. It's very subtle. Very subtle. So very subtle. Are, are you able to, uh, I mean, I know you are because <laughs> You've seen I, it. I, I, I've seen it and I know that you study this <laughs> yes. endlessly. Well, I have a patient right now who, um, actually I have a whole family who was a patient, right? Not only did they have the, the chronic Lyme disease challenges of the inflammation, but on top of which they had a mold exposure. So there we were in terrible shape. And what came first, the mold exposure or the Lyme? Well, it almost doesn't matter. We have to treat it holistically and treat every single challenge. And that's what I'm doing. So the children came in twice to three times a week, if you remember. Now, these are adult or, or adolescent children, and now the mother's starting as well. But 
it is a fascinating thing because it took us, I think, over 10 weeks to actually almost 15 weeks to really start working on all of the challenges the young man had. The daughter cleared up a little quick, more quickly. But in this case, I have to really look at what? I have to look at what type of bacteria was, was uh, found in this young man. We have to strip the biofilm, which is like a jelly-like substance, form around the cluster of the pathogen. Then I have to go into a, a level of detoxing the patient. I have to look at the proprietary treatments that help hold down inflammation, which may include your your good friend vitamin C, as well as some amino acids. And then I have to detox again, right? I have to detox the patient again and look at possibly helping them overcome the complications of the traditional medicines most doctors put them on, including the pain meds. So again, this is not an easy thing. And ultimately, what do I have to do? I have to reestablish their immune system. So can you see the process yes, I have to go yes. through with this, it this really chronic Lyme disease? It's very complicated. Yeah. Okay, we're going to pick that up uh, right after the break. We are at the halfway point of the show, and it is Health Watch every Sunday. The live version here, 8 till 9 here on Talk Radio 1210 WPHT. Dr. Molly Fantasia is here, the Ph.D. doctor, the executive director, and the founder of Innovative Medical Associates located in Marlton, New Jersey. You have a question for Dr. Molly right now here on the show, 855-839-1210, 855-839-1210. That's the number. Dr. Molly Fantasia is here, and I'm your host, John DeMassey. We are both coming back with more of today's version of Health Watch after these words. We are back here on Health Watch, and again, operators are standing by right now at Innovative Medical Associates, and the number, 856-489-0505. That's 856-489-0505. You can call now, you can call after 9 o'clock when we leave you, or you can call anytime, but that's the number to call for Innovative Medical Associates, 856 856- Four eight nine zero five zero five. When you call, you want to make the appointment with Dr. Molly for the initial consultation, and that's really where you can see uh, how this thing fits into whatever your medical challenge happens to be. Eight five six four eight nine zero five zero five, and the website innovativemedicalassociates.com. Innovativemedicalassociates.com is the website. And it is Health Watch here as we continue on uh, Talk Radio 1210 WPHT. We're here every Sunday, 8 till 9 on Talk Radio 1210. 855-839-1210 is our number here in the studio if you want to talk right now to Dr. Molly. We are picking up on this. Uh, Again, is it difficult to restore the immune system? Well, John, you know that to really reestablish the immune system takes some doing. See, the chronic Lyme co-infections that were left untreated due to the proper lack of diagnosis and treatment prior really make this a difficult task. So one of the things we would use, obviously, are the anti-inflammatories. Now, for example, John, I have a really wonderful healthcare provider who's a chiropractor who's coming into the clinic this Tuesday. When I looked over all of his records, he's a great example. And he knew, he knew what he had. He couldn't get any of the conventionalists to actually help him with the chronic Lyme infections, the co-infections. And he brought all this paperwork, which he actually did his own testing, everything. He did all of the, uh, the testing that we would do. And clearly he has this problem. So what do we have to do? We have to use the proper anti-inflammatories. That could be, uh, we might use things like turmeric, curcumin. We might use some frankincense. These are some of the things I might use in his IV. We might also use a lot of vitamin C. We would then use maybe coenzyme Q10, and there are various others. And also, as I said last week, we'd probably use a subclinical dose of LDN, low dose, so some uh, traditional types of uh, drugs that might be used for this guy. But he is smart enough to know. He said, Dr. Molly, 
I'm in for at least 15 weeks, and I know it. And I said, boy, Doc, you are. And he he really said, you have no idea. And by the way, he came down from New York City. Now, how in the world <laughs> did he get Lyme disease in New York? He said, I haven't had a vacation in 10 years. I have no idea. He said, I had this from 10, above 10 years ago. In other words, prior to his vacation, he thinks he caught it in the islands. And for all this time, it has been left untreated. Are you surprised that he couldn't find any? Um, no, no. The conventionalists? Yeah. No, no. Were now, there are, Lyme, there are Lyme disease specialists who are very good, actually, and who know once they cure the initial Lyme, they're ready to discharge you. Now, unfortunately, they'll treat a little bit of the uh, post-Lyme because, again, that's short term. That's short term. You can go to the spa for some anti-inflammatories for the post-Lyme, but it's the chronic Lyme that everyone has problems with. Lots of people don't believe it. I will tell you that I see significant changes in what's going on with Lyme disease right now. In fact, there's a couple of studies out there that actually the insights to Lyme disease, and if you look on PubMed, you can find a bunch of studies that say there may be a link to Lyme disease and certain blood dysgracias that are happening, like lymphomas, those kinds of things. Why? Because inflammation is what, John? The devil. That's right. That's right. Bad inflammation is the devil. So if you believe that cancers can come from inflammation, why wouldn't you want to get this chronic Lyme under control? This is really a... This is probably one of the more difficult challenges. Absolutely, and I have plenty of patients to tell you about it. And the prob- the challenge for me is the up and down that a patient goes through during this period of time, where they'll have some periods of time when we get these co-infections running and they're doing well, and then the viruses or the bacteria come back with a vengeance. So that's when you have to redo the detox. So this is not a quick fix, folks. Don't think you're going to come in and in five weeks you're going to be better. Ah, post-Lyme you might be better, but chronic Lyme is a condition that's going to take a little time. So this patient was living with this for 10 years? Yes, yes. And he's a wonderful guy. And he himself did all of his own research, did it. He knew what he had. He just couldn't find anybody who would use the various uh, anti-inflammatories that we are familiar with using and able to use them and he's in new york you would think there would be somebody right there. right well there's a lot of lime there's a lot of, right. of integrative yeah. lime physicians but of course you know it's made it more and more difficult to get a lot of these particular anti-inflammatories unfortunately that's what's happening in the world we're going more towards pharmaceuticals as opposed to nutraceuticals <clears throat> You have a, a few other patients that you wanted to talk about, and uh, I know that uh, there's a cancer patient that you wanted to touch yeah, on. Yeah, this is an interesting case, too. This woman has come to me. She came from out of town. She came from Indiana, and um, she started with me uh, last week on Thursday, and she's staying here in town for the duration of her treatments. She's an interesting person because we picked up all of her records from the hospitalization she was in. Um, she's one of these people who refuse conventional treatment. And I was quite surprised to see her when she walked through the door because she looked pretty good. And she hadn't had any uh, hydration therapy at all in her particular area in Indiana. Um, now, she's been diagnosed. She went into the hospital with some pain, and the pain is related to METs to the bone. Mets to the bone. She had breast cancer. The Mets traveled to the bone. She followed a very strict diet, which included what? Getting rid of the sugar. So she's keeping a low um, diet of sugar. None. None. Very good. But she really didn't have someone to help her not only go to do this, but to really utilize all of the nutraceuticals she was taking orally. Here's a good case as to why you might be able to follow the lifestyle changes that may help you through your cancer journey. And I believe it did because she's now about six years through it. But unfortunately, it's come back and it's come back with a vengeance. So she's a stage four patient. She does not want to do any conventional. And by the way, I've encouraged her to do conventional, John. Want to hold the thought right there? Yeah, we'll we'll hold that right there. But you've encouraged her to do conventional. Right. 
But so, she doesn't want to do it. Yeah. Okay. I, I know how you feel about that. We'll talk about that uh, coming up uh, after uh, this phone call. Frank in the Northeast. Frank, oh, hi, Frank. You're on uh, Health Watch with Dr. Molly. Good morning, hey, Dr. Frank. Molly and John. Ooh. How are you doing? Good, good, good. Your connection sounds like you're through it, too, man. Is it raining over there, Frank? Uh, yes, it, earlier it was, just late okay. rain. Okay, okay. But you're probably hearing a fan. It's hot here. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Um, I have a question, Dr. Molly. Did you ever hear of a company called Light Wave? It's L-I-G-H-T yes. Wave? Yes. Yes, I have, Frank. So, so, sorry. My mom's correcting me. It's Life, L-I-F-E. L-I-F-E. Yes, Light I, wave. I have. Yeah, I know it. I knew what you were talking the, about. Yeah. The X-39 patch? Yes. Are you using it? I started um, about five, six weeks ago. Good. Are, it's it's, it's, it's the... The place, the company was founded by a physicist. He's not a, the, the guy who owns the company now isn't a physicist, but he's using all the work on, from a physicist uh, point of view. Yes, I know it well. Go ahead. Is it a good company? It seems like it's a decent company. It does. What is the, um, this is out of my realm. It does something with GHK, CU, and copper peptide. What yeah, that mean? It, it does. It, it, what it works with, John, uh, let's say this. It allegedly works on enzymatics and uh, peptides, certain peptides, and the actual uh, certain growth. So it's really about um, regenerating your own stem cells in certain areas, correct? And that's really the issue. Now, do I believe it can work? I think it can work. I think it can work in some instances. Do I think it's the only thing people should do? Absolutely not. I think that there are ways to enhance the peptide activity uh, by utilizing the hydration therapy along with those patches. I think, actually, and actually I have several patients who are using these patches right now and are doing exceedingly well. Two of my patients who uh, have uh, neurodegenerative diseases are doing this. Um, and also, I'm using it for an athletic uh, person who I can't name on the radio, uh, who, is, who are using these patches and using our athletic protocol for, for um, increasing his own uh, IGF-1. So you, you're on the right track, Frank, if you're using it. I think it's a good idea. I think it's a great okay. idea. Okay. Thanks, Dr. Molly and John. God bless you. Talk to you okay. Well. That, Take care, that, Frank. That's an Thanks interesting question. I want people to realize I am not a purist in saying we're the only way to do things. I say that use us for the enhancement of some of the things you're doing, and I know we can help you. So this is a great, that was a great question. And back to the cancer patient. Yes. And and you were saying that she, she doesn't no, want to do conventional. No conventional. In fact, she didn't even have a surgery to remove the initial tumor. So I don't know if it was religious reasons or other reasons, but anyway. So now she's, I think, approximately, I think she said she's like almost eight years into this, maybe. Seven, eight years into the cancer journey. And now she has Mets to the bone. So, of course, I'm really doing this... Um, I'm hitting her as hard as I can with our cancer supportive protocol. However, it would have been my advice to have the tumor out if she had come to us first. But again, she's in another part of the country. They are very stringent out there in terms of only conventional treatment for cancer. Uh, no cancer supportive care out there that I know of. It's in the Midwest and they really don't uh, believe in any of this. So... What I'm going to do is try to help her the best I can with our cancer supportive program, which of course will call will use the vitamin C. It will use some of the anti-inflammatories. I'm going to use um, some subclinical doses of conventional meds to help her continue to keep the blood sugar at a low level. But this is a very difficult case. And I want you to know that I told the family, look, I'm not sure what we can do for her. I will try to do the best we can and maybe with God's help we can actually lengthen her life and give her some quality of life. So she's had two treatments so far and she said yes I felt uh, a little better and I said let's continue this and I believe she's going to be here for at least a two-week stay and I'm hoping that I can increase uh, decrease her fatigue increase some of her uh, uh, ability to uh, reduce the pain 
and um, help her get off some of the pain meds. Because now I'm worried that the pain meds are worse than the cancer yes, itself. Yes. So you can see that this puts me in a quandary, John. Yes, and I know when I had my uh, cancer bout yeah. many years ago, you said you got to get rid of that tumor. Exactly. And I did, of course. And you did. And the rest is history. I mean, yeah, I've been well, fine thank ever God. Since. And listen, but, you yeah, know, John, inflammation, though, you have a problem with chronic inflammation. Yes. Whether it's chronic Lyme disease, uh, chronic autoimmune disease, or chronic conditions that can lead to stroke, etc. When we have a problem, when our makeup is such that we're making more inflammatory process, we run the risk of having challenges. Okay, we are coming up on our final break of the morning, which means that you still have time to get in here with a question or a thought for Dr. Molly, whether it's a question or just a medical challenge, whatever happens to be, 855-839-1210 is the number, 855-839-1210. Dr. Molly Fantasia is here, the Ph.D. doctor, the executive director, and the founder of Innovative Medical Associates, located in Marlton, New Jersey. And I'm your host, John DeMassey. We are both coming back with more of today's Health Watch after these words. And we're back here on Health Watch. Operators are standing by right now at Innovative Medical Associates, 856 489 0505. I'll say it again. 856 489 0505. That's the number. And when you call, you want to make that appointment with Dr. Molly, the initial consultation, and it doesn't cost you anything. It's real simple. And you'll find out a lot about your condition, about your problem, and how Dr. Molly can help you. 856 489 0505. And the website. InnovativeMedicalAssociates.com, InnovativeMedicalAssociates.com. And don't forget, if you miss any of uh, this morning's program, you want to hear it again uh, or you, you can hear it in its entirety again. Four to five this afternoon, Health Watch replay. We're here on Talk Radio 1210 WPHD. Before we get back into the show, an interesting call last week that you had oh, yeah. during the show. So maybe you should explain so, why you don't open up everywhere. Well, I would, I, would, <laughs> I would love to open up everywhere because somebody called in and said, well, you know, there's a guy doing vitamin C in his hair salon and there's another guy doing it in the gym and all that. I said, yeah, that's great. All of that is wonderful and it has a place, but it is not medical hydration. This is a very expensive type of therapy that we are using based on the fact that we have to have many of our our nutraceuticals compounded for us, our homeopathics are compounded under spec for us. It's, it's a lot of involvement. You see our clinic. Do we have all the safety equipment yes, there? Yes. We are a full-service medical facility. This doesn't open up with two chairs in a, in a, in a spa or t- even 10 chairs in a spa if it doesn't have what it's necessary to protect our patients, which you know we do. So, uh, you know, and we have the registered nurses and the types of patients we see. So the bottom line, I believe that our operator last week said, please leave your name and number and the investors who would like to see this (laughs) out there. And I'm sure Dr. Molly will call you back. And I would, because I do believe, I wish this were involved. This, my facility could be replicated in other areas. I wish I could be the one to do it. But I'll tell you, John, I can't because I make sure that I spend every dime in in utilizing what the substances are that we deliver to our patients. And that's the bottom line. It's not like opening a pizza shop. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Or a deli. Exactly. You just can't put one on every no. corner. No, no, I wish I could. Yeah. I wish I could. So that's why, you know, yeah, it's thank one you, location. Yeah, thank okay. you. Thank you. Okay. Right, back to what we were talking about sure. before the break. Uh, really, so, you want to talk about all chronic inflammation sure. when, is what? Leading right. to what? Well, here's the deal. All chronic inflammation really gives people these chronic conditions, not just chronic Lyme, but the rheumatoid conditions, uh, stroke, cancer, everything that is inflammatory in nature. And what is that from? oxidative stress. And what does oxidative stress do? It interrupts the intercellular communication that ultimately contributes to the mitochondria dysfunction, mitochondria being the powerhouse of the cell, 
in the immune cells. So what happens? What is it that ultimately I want to do? I want to improve your immune system, your own, the innate immune system that God gave us in a way that can help you improve your quality of life, no matter if your condition is rheumatoid, if it is a neurological uh, degenerative disease. And there are many of God's ingredients out there that can help us do this if used properly in the right dosing for a particular patient. I remember uh, when uh, I had my bout with cancer and you were just really concentrating on boosting the immune system again. And that's really the goal with everything. Yes. In other words, I understand the conventional. We need the conventional. What we want to do is boost the immune system without harming a patient if they choose to go chemotherapy or radiation. And I believe we are doing that well. Patients who are going through chemotherapy in our clinic are doing exceedingly well. You yes, see it. Yes, I've seen now, it. Now, yeah. the problem is, and there's no problem for me, I want you to do whatever your your voice tells you to do. You drive your health care. But I want to do it carefully and with consideration to what kind of chemo or what kind of radiation you're getting and how can I help not harm. And that's the bottom line. And I believe that my doctor has been wonderful in that. And uh, I'm very lucky in that regard. So how many, again, how many treatments? How many does it take? John, it's a great question. You know, and I know, you're a lifer. Yes. Right? Well, you have, I've you resigned have, myself to that uh, you fact. Are, you are why? Because you don't have one inflammation, one particular type of condition. You have several. Because, unfortunately, you're the kind of guy that's made this, I'm sure, it's stressful radio. With all due respect, I believe your job contributed to everything that's going yes, on for yes. you. Not, I, I not your lifestyle. You were always very careful about what you ate, how you ate. You never were. Well, you did like your sweets. I will say that. <laughs> yeah, but, that's but you know, and, and here's the thing. I'm not going to make you a priest. You know that I said that before, right? I'm not going to make you a priest or someone a nun. You, if you want an occasional sweet, you're going to have it. But the bottom line is we have to change our lifestyle, do some hydration therapy truly, and look at our condition and what can contribute to it. You know, the other week you had a, a patient brought in donuts. Oh, yeah, from a really nice bakery. And you said to me, have a donut. And I thought, I've never heard you say that, no, but, but I, know, had you, yeah, I had that's half. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Now, see, that is judicious, and that's what we want to do. We want to help our patients. We don't want you to be in deprivation, but we want you to be smart about your choices. And, but the whole thing is, if you're you're going to treatment at your facility, you should expect that you're going to be there for a period of time. <laughs> To effectuate the change. Correct. I want to see the change, and it may take time. I don't know. Your change was different than my change. Your change is different than several of the other patients. But it also depends on when you come in to see me. If you come in in the beginning of your condition, guess what? It's much quicker than when you come in and you're now stage four, right, of yes, cancer, yes. right? So there's the difference, John. Yes. So you can you can say just go in and start and then who right. knows when you're going to you know what five weeks if you come in earlier and it can go on if you don't and it depends on where you are in your own health care continuum that's the truth and what you do on the outside john if you're smoking you think it's going to take five weeks for my no. no but i have smokers and it does take time and eventually we get them off smoking too yes uh but it's important if you get nothing else out of this show today it's the importance of the immune system. That's and how right. It is very and it's important. It's delicate. It has to be done just right. As I tell you, the Goldilocks theory in all the nutraceuticals more is not necessarily better. Therapeutic levels change between patients, and that is the key. High dose vitamin C can be high dose from 50 grams to whatever. The point is, it depends on the patient's challenge, how they come in, when they come in. And don't go into the health food store today and buy uh, several bottles of vitamin C. Exactly right. I want to know where they're extracted from because guess what? You can raise your blood sugar, buddy. Okay? Yeah, I mean, I mean there, there are so many things I, in the health I food store. I think about this every yes, day, John. Yes, I know. God bless you. And with that, we are going to put the wraps on another edition of Health Watch. Don't forget, operators are standing by right now at Innovative Medical Associates. The number, 856 856- Four eight nine zero five zero five eight five six four eight nine zero five zero five. No, the operators don't go home at nine o'clock. 
they still stay there. And they'll be there well after we leave you at 9, at 10, at 11. They'll be there. 856-489-0505. Don't forget our Health Watch replay 4 to 5 this afternoon right here on Talk Radio 1210 WPHT. For Dr. Molly Fantasia and everyone at Innovative Medical Associates, the lovely Linda and our nursing staff, Barbara, Donna, Lana, and Vicki, and of course, there's Joanne, fabulous Fran, delightful Dee, and our medical assistant, Sandra. I'm John DeMassey. Thank you for listening. Have yourself a great week and a healthy one. We'll talk to you next Sunday. Health Watch, 8 till 9 here on Talk Radio 1210 WPHT. You take care. is paid for by Innovative Medical Associates. All opinions or statements expressed on the program are solely those of Innovative Medical Associates or their guests and do not reflect the opinions of WPHT or Odyssey.